Today's Friday. It is the day that I take my 94 year old Uncle Archie to the supermarket. When he gets in, I'm going to ask him a few questions about retirement, see what he thinks. So this is Archie. Here he comes, a bit slow these days, but doing pretty well for 94. We'll just see what he has to say for himself when he gets in. Morning, Archie. Morning, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? So, Archie, you celebrated your 94th birthday last week, didn't you? Yes, on the Wednesday. 94, what a great age that is to get to. But what I wanted to ask you a few questions about retirement. How old were you when you retired? Uh, 62. Back then, was the pension age in the UK, was it 65? Yes. So why did you retire early? Because I wanted to. Why? They paid me off. I would have done the same money. Pension money started. So, yeah. if I could ask you another question. If you knew when you were 62 that you'd live to 94, would you have stayed longer at work? No. Why no. not? I, I'd had enough. And my back was killing me all the time, and it still is. Before that, I'd be asking them to retire at 60. You were married to my auntie. Yes. weren't you, which was my mother's sister, my Auntie Jean. Yes. How long were you and Jean married? 59 years. 59 years, wow, well done. How old was Jean when she retired? She retired two years before me. She'd be 58. And why did she take early retirement? Well, they, they asked if she wanted to go. I says, snap the hand off and redundancy and your pension starts. Looking back to those times then, did you or Jean ever consider going back to work at all? Maybe doing a part-time job or anything like that? I've never worked an hour since. <laughs> and why is that? I'd be paying too much tax. I was, I was paying tax as it was. Is that the only reason, just tax? No, it, I wanted to finish early. You don't know, do you? People dropping, round, uh, dropping down around me. Yeah, not you though, as it turned out. So you retired, you took early retirement and Jean did the same. And what did you do in your retirement? What did you and Jean do? Oh, we used to go walking in country every other day. Started it off doing a short walk from home, and the next day we'd do a long walk. And did you have a dog then? Yes, we had little um, Amy. So what type of dog was Amy? Sure. So you and Jean used to go out into the countryside with little Amy. Yeah. How many miles did you used to walk in the end? What did you build up to? We'd done up to 14 miles one day. Not every day, but ne next walk might have been a 10 mile or an 8 mile walk, you see. We're about to arrive at Tesco's because yes. we're taking you to Tesco's today for your weekly yeah. shopping. So I just wanted to ask you just one or two more questions about retirement yes. before we get there. The next question I wanted to ask you was about what you think uh, makes a good retirement because it sounds to me like you had a good retirement. Well, I had a good marriage. Was that the key, was it? Yes, it was. Last question because we're just arriving in the car park now. I wanted to ask you one more question, which is, and this is the advice that you would give people who are maybe in their 50s, probably still working. What advice would you give them about retirement? Enjoy your life. So what you're saying is that you should, you should enjoy your life. It's an opportunity to enjoy your life. Yes. So there you have it. That was uh, Uncle Archie. I've now dropped him off for his weekly shopping at supermarket. He goes in on his own. He, as you can see, he's still got all his marbles, even though he's a bit slow these days. I'll be picking him up again in an hour and he'll be uh, loading up the back of my car with uh, a couple of weeks worth of shopping. I'll take a few pictures to have a look at so you can see what, what his diet is. He's not a man who's on a health kick, that's for sure, but then why should you at 94? Right, so we're back at Tesco's and here he is after doing his shopping. Let's see what you've got in here then today. All for me. All for you. Week, week shopping. Yeah, cornflakes, a new brush. A new brush, yeah, brush. Cakes. Accommodates in somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, and is that rice pudding? Aye, uh, and custard. My <laughs> favourite one. Your favourite. How many tins of that have you got still at home? Oh, about 30. About 30. Uh, so there you I, go. I just keep it up. That's what a 94 year old does for a week of shopping. Here we are again. I've picked Archie up from Tesco's. He had a full basket. I've taken a few pictures to show everybody Archie. I know you're a man who has a very varied diet. I'm sure they'll be very interested in what's in those shopping bags. It, it, it isn't in the diet, it's a good food eating, good food, cooking it yourself. 
Let's get back on the subject of retirement because that's what this video is all about. So, so far we've um, ascertained that you retired at uh, 62 and that was early retirement and uh, you are a fan of early retirement. It's something that you would advise people to do. Actually, tell us a little bit more about what you got up to during retirement. We talked about walking. What else did you and Jean do? Well, we used to do the usual things, go shopping, go to pictures on the night time at, at that time. Did you do any travelling? Well, we did a lot of travelling. Yeah, and what sort of travelling did you do? We went abroad all the time. All what up, countries did you travel to? Well, we travelled on a bus all the way through all the Alps, French Alps, the Swiss Alps, the Austrian, the Austrian, Austrian Alps. But that was the only time I did it, and never again. And you'd hardly see, see me going too fast. Let me ask you a few more questions about travel, Archie. What countries did you travel to during retirement? We went all over the place. We did about 10, 10 cruises as well, different cruises to, to uh, Europe and all over the place. And we went to Russia. So you went to Russia, you went on cruise ships. Where else did you go? We did Turkey. We did the European stops, different places. When you go on one, it's no good going to see that again. We went on, on a ship from Norway. Did you ever cross the Atlantic, go over to that side of the world? We went to Caribbean for a far right solid, yeah. There was better places in England. So Archie, I'm just going to wrap up the video by asking you a question. Can you give us three things that you need to do to make the best out of retirement? Walking, gardening. And, uh, and what would be the final thing? Keep going all the time. And don't give in. I do not give in, even now at, uh, at 94, I do not give in. So that's your final word, is it? That's Don't give in, keep going. Keep going. Excellent. Well, look, we just arrived back at Archie's house. Thanks very much for that, Archie. Yeah, Go in. Empty all into freezer and fridge. So that's it, we just dropped Archie off. I hope you found his insights into early retirement interesting. My takeaway from talking to Archie about retirement is that if you get the opportunity to retire early, you should, and you should make the most of your retirement by getting out there, keeping going, traveling, walking, gardening, basically indulging your hobbies. One of the questions I asked Archie was whether or not, if he knew he was gonna to live to 94, he would have kept on working through to state pension age. And his answer was an unequivocal no. So there you have it. The views of a 94 year old on early retirement. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, remember to make every second count.